Okay, today we'll do purchase product. Vendor 39010, material 13,000. Uh, account assignment configuration, which is very important. And, um, and we'll see if we can release the purchase order because there is a separate configuration for purchase order release. Okay. And after that, we'll see the uh, purchase requisition, location, product key. Uh, we'll see that as well. Okay. If we complete this. Okay. So, first step is making a purchase order. Materials management, purchasing, purchase order, ME21, dot, ME21, end with plant, loan. Okay, standard PO vendor is 39010 purchase by P31 will be our purchase grid double for two. Enter currency KR uh, payment terms have been pulled from this vendor. Uh document overview of for now because we don't have a PR or RFP or anything. Use it later. Okay. Okay. Fix exchange rate. Um, we'll try with another currency in the next one, but right now we'll just try to see what information is required from our website. Okay. Um, partners. Okay. Partners of the numbers and details can be given over here. Organization data. We've already given that status. Status is active, not delivered, not yet invoiced, still to be delivered, and it has to be released. Okay, this is done. Item overview. Then F materials, 30,000. Adhesive, your quantity 30. I will not give ordering unit. Delivery date 2023, 08, 21. Net zero price 1028. Um, material group, it will extract automatically. Okay, now we have to enter GL account. Okay, why? Because account assignment over here is, it has many categories. If you are ordering it against an order or against a cost center, cost center means it is going to be consumed, so it's not. So it will be GR non-valuated. Non-valuated means it will be used for consumption or unknown. If you give unknown, it will not take any account assignment. It will, it will just save the purchase order. So I'll take cost center and it will change. Cost center. I can also assign an asset over here. So it will take, ask me for uh assets as well okay now for example if this adhesive tape will be used at different profit centers then we have uh distribution based on quantity percentage and amount okay now what is the gl account that we will use here for that and what is the cost center that we use here let's see let's first 
collect a cost center in this field. No values, that means we haven't created any cost center. So we'll create that first. Um, KS01, or KE01, let's see where it is. Create cost center. And but it is taking controlling area triple one, so we will change the total formula. Okay, so since controlling area is but defaulted triple uh tetra one, what I'll do, I'll say okay, okay s. Double four two. K is zero one. Uh, K is zero one. Okay, cost center C C zero zero one. Um two thousand twenty four zero one central cost center. <laughs> in cost center category. Now there are various categories that you can create in cost center configuration, which is at the back end for categories. And you can give as many categories you want. So if there is production, marketing, sales, okay. So we'll say finance, Hierarchy is already made, which should be double A for two. This is area we have not created that. Okay, PKR and C001, if I'm correct, does not exist. So we have not created profit center also. So let's first create a profit center. Season Save. 
Oh, 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 it does not exist. Oh, okay. Flash O K E zero two. So one one Okay, one one print. Oh, okay. That was the mistake. Uh, Cross center has been created. Double C double zero one. Double C double zero one. So we want a GL account. Now what GL account will be here? Well, this is consumption purchases. Okay. So what we'll do. Um, F is double zero. Account drop. Material accounts, 70,000. GL account, right? So what is the nature of GL account, GRIR? Can anyone tell me? Yeah, anyone. Anyone who's active right now and not sleeping. Okay, GRIR. What's the nature? Why do we use GRIR account? For example, it will be a receivable. Uh, goods are received. Okay. But invoice is not received. Or invoice, and payable. Yeah. Invoice is received, but goods are not received. So this is a dilemma that this is a dilemma that um, is faced by companies. So to remove this, to replace missing invoice, they replace it with GR Payan. And over here, it's GR Payan. Okay, same thing. Now. When this is removed, GRIR, okay, it becomes an interim account. GR means good received, IR means invoice received. So this is interim account. And this interim account over here, an interim account over here has different nature. 
okay? They have received the goods, okay? So good received comes under assets. So this asset is also your liability because it, you have not paid for it yet, okay? Invoice received is your liability and GRIR becomes your asset. Why? Because you have received an invoice to pay, which is a liability. So in order to balance it, you need an asset. So your GRIR becomes an asset. That asset is good. Goods. Goods are not there. So GRIR becomes your asset. Okay. So at so the nature of GL account, how it should be, whether it should be open item or not. Whether it should be balance sheet item, this was my question, balance sheet item or not. Now, what happens? Month end, year end. We have to reconcile many, many other areas, including vendor, payment, which is invoice, invoice clearing, and materials, MM. Okay. It's a three way reconciliation. Okay. That's why vendor master. We have sort key 014, which is PO. In payment, the assignment field gets pulled or populated by sort key, which is PO and MM. In MM, we book goods through PO. So when vendor and payment uh, payment clearing is happening, they look for PO and that PO is attached with a good receipt, okay? We will do the good receipt as well. So this is a three-way reconciliation. So in that, because we have to clear GR, IR against what? Against good receipt note versus invoice cleared or received. Okay. So GR IR has to be cleared, knocked off. Has to be cleared and knocked off at the end of the month or year. Okay. Because it's an interim account. In itself, it has uh, no intrinsic value just because it has to balance good received and invoice received. That's why it's playing a middleman role. Okay, so it has to be cleared and knocked off because it doesn't any carry any intrinsic value because all the intrinsic value will be absorbed by either good received and invoice received. At the end of the day, it will knock this liability with this asset. I hope this is clear. Okay, so it's a balance sheet item. Why balance sheet? Because if GRIR is uncleared at the year end, so it will be either a liability or an asset. So it will be carried forward to next year. Okay. It cannot be explained more simpler than this. Okay. Now, yes. Um, how many types of GRIR can we have? As many as you want. You can have GRIR raw material. GRIR SFG. GRIR finished good. GRIR taxes. We are I R consumption material. G R I R production order. Uh, 
services g r i r services so under r m raw material i can have g r i r tires purchase okay g r i r tires consumption g r i r tires production transfer whatever this is as per your client's process how deep they want it to be okay so we'll just keep one right now g r i r purchases for uh, accessories okay GRIR accessories are empty GRIR Okay. okay, control data, EKR tax category will be sales input, okay, posting without tax, open item management, sort key, 014, okay. Zero one four is purchase order. Okay, so this will sort key will or oh, 